We think it's this. Oh, thank Yay! God. I'm glad that worked, because I saw you not save the Excel sheet. <laughs> you didn't see me save. No, I was confident. I wasn't. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to delete the screenshot, too. And we'll never do that again. This is another part of the puzzle. So we know where they all are. I'm sure that'll come in handy. We know where all of them are. User not logged in. The HR computers yelled that at us? I could hazard quite a few guesses at the username and password, but I think we'd be here all night. You already are in tonight shift! <laughs> uh, I think you have to back up. Yeah, I was... Huh. Just, just awkward, wasn't it? Oh my lord! We're gonna be here. <laughs> we're gonna do this. Yep. Because uh, otherwise, I mean, we're just going to go back to our room and say, Dear Diary, I think Drake is after me. He said some things that scare me and also make me excited. What made you want to be a cop? In college, I had experience with the police. I don't want to get into the details. Do. No. <laughs> what most people would have gotten is... No! No reading my thoughts! <laughs> no! We're done! No plot for you! Who the hell has ever been to jail and thought, Wow, this is cozy. What if I was in this building all the time? <laughs> Drake. Fine! Drake. Most people have gotten as far away from law enforcement as possible, and I get it. But I became interested in learning how to create a better system. So I took up a minor in criminal justice. <laughs> Part of the minor was doing a meme assignment for my psychology class. What is that? What do you mean you got a minor in criminal justice and that qualified you to be a cop? You know After what? After graduating, I came back to Roseburg and became a cop. Yeah, see, my degrees are in women's studies and choreography, and I, too, am uh, also a cop, just like you, Drake. I want to make sure everyone is fairly treated, uh, no matter their background or the color of their skin. That's very noble of you. I think getting more minorities in law enforcement is a good first step. You do realize why that, you're gay. But literally, all you're doing is just running a spam filter and playing solitaire, Drake. Plus, people in our community should be able to know that there are police officers who look like them. You're an organ. You look like you. I'm sorry, but that's how the world works. To be honest, it's been hard. My family doesn't understand why I want to be the cop. But maybe one day I can show them. That things can change. I also have just realized that there's the possibility that Marcella has been drugged and is talking to a series of mannequins that yeah. have been littered across Rosebook. Just we're, we're just waiting for the doctor to tap us on the shoulder and bring us out of the trance. Oh my god, it's the psychic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's, I applaud your effort. That's me. How it's wor how's it working? Oh, that's Marcella. Whoops. I'm also taking up ventriloquism. <laughs> I'm patting myself on the back right now. No one thought I could do it except me. Uh, can you hear it? There's the sound of my back being padded. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Generally, the Rosebook Police Department is forward thinking. Our department is unusually diverse, mostly dentists. Which is why part of why I wanted to work with the Rosebrook Department of it, PD and Dental Work. Admittedly, at this point, it's it's three women, one black man, and the uh, half and half. So at this rate, you're doing really well in the percentages department. <laughs> but there are plenty of bad apples out here. Like your mom. <laughs> I have to stay vigilant, point out any bad practices I see, and hold the officers I hold I work with accountable. It's gonna be fun playing snitch. We've actually learned how to do that recently, and I'm gonna we go figure. It already. We're gonna figure out how that went for us. Tell you what, if we don't come out of the next cubicle, car mom. <laughs> She's literally down the hall. That's right. There's a lot. Save the desktop for last. Oh, that's, I mean, the game says so too. How do you like working here? What was the, um, mouse not moving? I'm the newest member of the Roseburg Police Force. I just finished my computer science degree and my minor in Saturday. Why so good? Uh, 
Why I mean, would he go work for like Microsoft if he has a computer science degree? I was gonna say, so your resume essentially just consists of you building a Minecraft replica of the bar from Cheers, and they gave you a job in a police department. Yeah, that's fair. That's right. <laughs> One thing that has been surprising is how much crime does come through Rosebrook, especially for it being such a small town full of buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, a criminal drives by in a truck to get to a town where real crime happens. Those bastards. <laughs> At least it's not as bad as Hazelbrook. There are some <laughs> weird crimes reported over there. And don't even bother going to Daffodil Brook. <laughs> <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> That's where Daffodil Caviar Montgomery the Third is. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> we're here because we're learning how to do them. Did I say that Can't out loud? Can't you go get a minor in business science or something? Oh, for Pete's sakes. I can't go into details, but haven't you heard of the supernatural story circulating around Hazelbrook? Damn it, that's where Diane went. How how did you actually arrest a ghost? Because can't they get out of the car? Oh my haven't gosh, you that's... Have seen Velma? I was going to say, this is also the entire plot to Ghostbusters. Well, I'm sorry. I'll just watch Ghostbusters. I have, but I figured it was just teenagers having fun. I've never done that before. <laughs> dooby dooby do. There's more to it than that. Hazelbrook is a strange place between strange residents. I'm guessing it's got to do with all those factories in town. <laughs> there must be some kind of radiation or something. Is that where Half-Life happens or something? <laughs> well, we just drink all the runoff from the pork in the shoe <laughs> factories. <laughs> now we're the Fantastic Four. One more and you can be a detective group. <laughs> okay, so you're working on right now. How to undo deleting system 32. <laughs> okay, this guy would totally do that. <laughs> Actually, we probably deleted system 32 and that's why the file's corrupt. <laughs> Someone in a pickle costume. Shoplifted. $60 worth of snacks from Arnie's Bodega. <laughs> They got their hands on a nice selection, including Pringles, M&M's, Trails Mix, and Mountain Dew. I'm pretty sure all these are copyrighted products, but they're in the game anyway. Okay, let's let's go through this one, actually. This this deserves yeah, a, a yeah, deep dive. Yeah, you're the dive. law man. Tell me the, how this, this is working. This deserves a deep dive analysis. First, a pickle costume. The man walked in as a human dildo. He goes into Arnie's bodega, which... I'm pretty sure bodegas don't exist outside the confines of New York City. So what we're talking about is Arnie 7-Eleven that has more rats than it should. He goes up to Arnie because it's his <laughs> bodega. He's got to be the only one there and says, I'm a pickle. Give me Pringles, M&M's, Trails Mix, and Mountain Dew. And if you put in any fucking Slim Jims, I will murder you and all of the rats. And Arnie was like, well, that would get rid of my rat problem. But let me actually go sh aisle by aisle shopping for you as if you have Walmart Plus. It's like, thanks, Arnie. I'll wait 20 minutes. Don't call anybody. I did. But that's it's just my daughter. <laughs> she... She's going to be sad that the Pringles are gone. I saved some from her. Uh, <laughs> and then he just hands it over. Uh, those, by the way, all cost town. together $60. You thought inflation was bad where you live. It's miserable. And I would probably get in this a pickle Oregon, costume. This is Oregon, right? What was that? This is Oregon, right? This is Oregon, yeah. I mean, that explains it. Do not tell us to help. I'm trying to piece together the security footage of some of the cameras in the area. See if I can identify any faces. Drake, let me promise you this. If I see any people running around in a pickle outfit eating Pringles, M&M's, Trail Mix, and Mountain Dew, all of which, like you said, the one thing we didn't even touch upon, just happen to be Arnie's own personal products that he makes in the back room while he's playing poker. What was the other things he got? It was Pringles, M&M's... Trail Mix, which admittedly is not a brand yet, and Mountain Dew. Okay, I'm adding this into a shopping cart to find out how much food he bought. <laughs> I've, oh, I've already made a Price is Right joke. I can't do another one. Okay. Really, I'm just clicking on things until it reaches roughly the right amount. Are there, norm are there normally more officers here? Hang on. Let me finish this up. So... 
<laughs> this map needs a little adjustment. Let's take off one Mountain Dew. Nah, <laughs> there we go. Okay, See? so he stole 12 cans of Pringles, two Trails Mixes, two M&Ms, and three six-packs of Mountain Dew. So he brought a wheelbarrow. Did yeah? Oh my gosh! <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and and you let him get away? Yes. It's too bad Arnie's bodega's in the void with Pinky, so that there's nobody around to help out in a situation like this. And this is after two dollars and eighty-eight cents of Walmart Plus savings. <laughs> Go ahead, Drake. Anyway. How many people are here that just happen to miss this entire incident? <laughs> Everyone. There are 16 officers within the Rosebrook PD. Some are out of patrol right now, but most are off duty. The night shift is quiet for the most part. Yeah, nobody commits crimes when no one can see them. I mean, the sun just dies, right? <laughs> Do you ever go on patrol? Sometimes, but I usually prefer being at the station. I wouldn't mind doing more highway patrol. DL. We kind of famous for being organs. I knew it! Some of the stuff is in Oregon text. Highest earners in speeding tickets. The officers writing those tickets are making bank. How? Oh my god. Drake, have you just revealed some kind of corruption <laughs> plot that we could probably go to the mayor, if not the Wall Street <laughs> Journal with? What do you mean the officers are... There's some kind of <laughs> incentive... Not... They don't get commissions off of tickets. Yeah, it's like they're selling furniture. <laughs> what? What's... What do you mean? So you're telling me they stop people okay, that, that go like on. one mile per hour on the highway. They tell them, not only do you have to pay me $200, but I'm automatically signing you up for NordVPN. You can't stop me. Get out of here. It's not legal for officers to get bonuses for giving tickets. <laughs> Drake, we're going to bring this entire cop system to defund you. <laughs> we're going to go back to being poor, and you're going to have to live with us. <laughs> He'll pay the rent for us. <laughs> anyway, um, I just downloaded random files from the internet that I thought looked important. Even worse, they were from an email that happened to get through the internet. So you need to fix this for me now. Well, did you remember to install Kaspersky? I do have Kaspersky, and also I just call Vladimir Putin every day myself and tell him where I am. It's just my, it's my responsibility. Well, I guess I should make sure you're running Kaspersky Plus. I'll check it out. Oh, does that have Tetris? Yes. Thanks. The file is called Derek Mooney XE. It's not important. It's not my dad. It's on my desktop. Bye. Okay, I will ignore that it's your dad and look at your computer. Thanks. Bye. I'm also not moving. Bye. Yeah, how are you going to get to our computer? Talk to him again, see if he's been to our computer. <laughs> <laughs> I took a look at the file you sent me. It was corrupted, but I restored it. Only problem is, the file appears to be protected by some kind of password. Marcella, can you just turn around for half a second? Okay, anyway, it's done. Not only have I done that, I've also uh, balanced your checkbook and unclogged your toilet. The only way this would have been better is if you hadn't backed up first. I could crack it, but I don't really have the time. It might be a good learning project for you. Take a look. Oh, cool. The password, I'm going to start with A-A-A-A. -A -A -A. <laughs> okay. 